All right, guys, so we're back with a brand new video. So we're going to go ahead and create a simple music bot with Lava Link and Discord Pi. So I'm going to create a directory called Discord Pi Music Bots. And all of the code will be in a uh, link to GitHub. Okay, and we're going to use pipenv. If you don't know what pipenv is, I highly recommend you guys learn how to use it. It's very easy. Okay, and so basically pipenv allows us to set up projects in virtual environments so that way we can install dependencies and those dependencies won't affect our other projects so when you install dependencies sometimes they will install globally or majority of the time if you're not using a virtual environment they will install globally using a virtual environment will only keep those dependencies inside that project and when you go and work on a new project you can use let's say an earlier version or a later version of a dependency and it won't affect all of your other packages so highly recommend you look into this so we're going to open up visual studio code and we're going to go ahead and just install our dependencies so pip end install discord pi so it's the same way if you don't want to use pip and you don't have to but just make sure you have discord pi and lava link installed and i'm assuming that you guys already have lava link installed but for those who are just trying to learn how to make a music bot what you want to do is you want to do two things before you even or three things actually you want to make sure that you have lava link downloaded so download the latest version uh it is 422 2020 so the latest version right now is version 3.3.1 this requires java 11 so make sure you have java 11 but it's recommended to download it with uh, or use it with java 13. now if you want to download java 11 i'll actually link a video in the description okay that shows you where to download java 11 and how to set up the path for it and, uh, and it also shows you how to set up the application a dot yml file so just watch that video and then come right back to you okay but just make sure you click on this jar file and it'll save to your desktop okay so we have our dependencies if you look at our pip file over here uh, we have Discord Pi, we have to install Lava Link, so let's do that. Pip install Lava Link. So while that's installing, we just create a folder called source, and I'll create a .env file. And inside this .env file, I need to get my bot token. So I'm going to just paste that in here for now. And I'm going to leave my prefix as hyphen for now. And you can see we have Lava Link as a dependency. I'm going to set up a simple script, and this is just going to make my life a lot easier. So I'm going to set up a simple dev script. So this is going to be dev equals nodemon hyphen hyphen exec python source bot. .py. You need to make sure you have nodemon installed if you want to use a script. If you don't have nodemon installed, don't worry about setting up the script. And the reason why I'm using the script is now I can do pip and uh, run dev, and that will run the uh, source slash bot.py file inside this folder over here which I'm going to create right now. So this bot.py file is just going to be a simple file. We're going to just go ahead and import Discord. We're going to go ahead and import OS. And then we're going to just set up some cogs. So you don't have to use cogs, but if you don't want to, um, you don't have to. It will just be a little bit more difficult, but I highly recommend you use cogs because uh, cogs are the way to go. Now, all I'm doing here is I'm just importing my dependencies. I'm importing Discord. I'm importing OS because we're going to use OS to reference the environment variable. If you're not using pipenv, then you have to manually install .env because pipenv uses the .env module. So if you don't have pipenv, okay, make sure you manually install .env and you have to actually manually call the uh, .env uh, or you have to manually import the .env uh, module. We're going to set the command prefix to os.getenv and that's just going to be the prefix environment variable. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to listen to the ready event. So async def on ready. So this is going to be fired when the bot is ready. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply use enough string to print out the user has logged in. Very simple stuff. And what we're going to have to do here is we're going to have to actually load up our cogs. So I'm going to go ahead and log my bot in right now by doing bot.run. And we're going to reference OS, right? OS operating system allows us to do a lot of things with the operating system. But we're going to use os.getenv to get the bot token. Okay, so this is going to pull the environment variables. It's going to load it into uh, memory. And we can reference .getenv method to get our environment variables. So now if I were to run this bot right now, you're going to see that it's going to say uh, the bot is logged in. Perfect. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the bot.py file. We're done with the bot.py. Okay, before I even get started, so far, just to quickly recap, all we've done so far was we set up a simple virtual environment with pipend. Now we need to actually uh, make sure we have the lava link jar. So like I said, make sure you go to that website that I just showed you. There will be a link in the description. Make sure you download the latest release. So I'm just going to drag this over here. So I have my lava link jar file and I'm going to go ahead and just copy my application yaml file, the yml file. Okay. And I'm just going to copy and paste this in here. Like I said, everything will be in the description. So if you want, just copy and paste. It doesn't really matter, 
but I'm doing this video just to show you guys how I'm going to implement it and show you guys the logic behind everything and then you guys can extend on top of this. The important part that you have to understand here is your port and your address as well as your password. These all need to be uh, what you're going to be using when we actually connect to the Lava Link server. Okay, so make sure you remember that these three fields are what we're going to be using to connect to uh, the Lava Link server. You can obviously change this to whatever you want. Okay, 0.0.0.0 .0 is just your local host. This is the port and it's just the password. With that being said, let's go into the source folder. Let's create a folder called cogs. And this is where we're going to register all of our extensions or cogs. Okay, so we're going to create a new cog called music.py. And if you've never used cogs before, I highly recommend you check out my playlist on how to get started with cogs. Very, very easy, very awesome uh, utility that's part of, or I shouldn't say utility, extension that's part of the Discord Pi library. So we're going to go ahead and do from discord.ext, which stands for extensions. We're going to import commands. We're going to import, uh, we're going to import lava link. And then we're going to also just create a simple class called music cog. And I'm going to extend the cog class. Okay, this is extending the cog class as part of the commands module. We're going to go ahead and set up a constructor. So def underscore underscore init underscore underscore. This is going to take in two parameters self. Okay, in JavaScript it's equivalent to this. And we're just going to set the bot field to uh, the bot that we pass in. Okay. And now we're done with our cog. We can easily register our cog by simply setting up the def setup. So setting up a setup function. This is going to take in the bot instance and we're going to do bot add cog, music cog. So the name of our cog class over here and then pass in bot. Now, obviously we're not done with our cog. I'm just saying that this is the most basic cog that you can use. Okay, we're going to actually need to register our commands inside this cog. So we're going to have just two simple commands. We're going to simply have a play command as well as a join command. Okay, but we need to actually connect to the lava link server. We're going to go ahead and reference self dot bot and we're going to attach a new property called music and we're going to basically create the lava link instance on this music uh, property. So we're going to do lava link client and we're going to pass in self dot bot dot user dot ID. Okay, because the lava link client needs the uh, ID of the bot. Okay, we're then going to go ahead and add a node. So we're going to do self.bot music. Okay, so we're referencing the music client, add node. We're going to pass in localhost. So localhost, like I said, is the same thing as 0, .0, 0.0.0.0. There should be no confliction. We're going to pass in the port and we're going to pass in the password of our Lava Link server. Pass in NA for the region and we're just going to pass in a name for this node. We can just call this a uh, music node. Call it whatever you doesn't really matter. And we're going to go ahead and add a couple of, uh, we're going to add one event listener, self.bot add listener. We're going to do self.bot music voice state or voice update handler and we're going to do on socket response okay and the last thing we're going to do inside the constructors we're going to do self.bot.music add event hook and we're going to have to create this track hook def track underscore hook and self and event okay and we're just going to do if is instance event lava link dot events dot q and event okay and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna say guild underscore id we're gonna get the id event dot player dot guild id okay and we're going to just do await self dot connect to guild underscore id none okay and like I said, the documentation has a lot of stuff on these two functions. Okay, it's literally just two functions that are from the documentation. We don't have to worry so much about it, but there are comments on the documentation that pretty much show you what that pretty much tell you what it does. Okay, and there's like over here, like literally, this is the track hook event we're go and where this is going to be the connect to event. Literally, all I'm doing is I'm just referencing these functions from the documentation from the example. Okay, they give you a very nice example that works just fine but we're going to be implementing our own play command and our own join command okay but if you want to follow the documentation one you can but you can just think of the try cook function this pretty much is uh when the q end event is received and it basically just means that whenever there are no tracks left in the player's queue then it's just going to tell the bot to disconnect from the voice channel because obviously it doesn't make sense for the bot to stay in the voice channel if there are no tracks left to be played in the queue the connect to function, this is just going to literally connect to the uh, voice channel. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set up two commands. So we're going to need to use the commands decorator and we're going to reference dot command. We're going to pass in the name. So the name is going to be join. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and declare our function. So async def join. 
It's going to take in two parameters, self and context. CTX is the context instance, and the context instance has information about the author that invoked the command, the channel that the command was invoked in, a whole bunch of stuff. Again, I would highly recommend you look into the documentation. But if I do this join command worked, you're going to see that when I reference or when I uh, invoke the command, did I, uh, oh, we didn't register our cogs yet. Okay, we have to do that. So we're going to go in here and we only have one cog. So I'm just going to do bot.load extension and we're going to do cogs.music. If you had multiple cogs, uh, you could either read all of the cogs in a directory or you can just put it in an array and just use a loop to read through it. It doesn't really matter. But I'm putting this inside the on ready uh, event on, for a reason. The reason why I'm doing that is because I want to make sure that the bot is logged in before we load up the cog. If you load up the cog, before the bot is logged in, you're actually going to get an error with the uh, bot the user being a none, uh, being none. So that's the reason why I'm logging in when the bot is ready. So now our uh, command should work, and you can see that. Uh, let's see, you can see right over here that we're getting an invalid response because Lava Link isn't running. So we need to actually go run Lava Link. So let me cd into my uh, directory real quick. So we're going to do cd Discord pi music bot, and we're just going to go ahead and run Lava Link. So I'm going to do Java hyphen jar Lava Link dot jar. Like I said, you need to make sure that you have uh, the Lava Link jar downloaded. You need to make sure that you uh, have Java 11 installed, at least Java 11. So our bot's logged in. So now if I go and use the join command, it should work just fine. All right, so we have our command. Okay, very, very simple. Now we need to make sure that the bot is actually in the channel. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and first get the actual bot as a member. Okay, and to do that, we're going to use util. So I'm going to go and do from discord import utils so we're going to import the utils uh, module and i'm going to use utils.find and we're going to pass on a lambda function so we're going to do m.id equals ctx.author.id so i'm just checking to see if the person who invoked the command is the same as the uh the member that we're going through right because we're going to basically look through every single member in ctx.guild.members which is a list and we want to make sure that we're finding the member that invoked the uh, command. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and check to see if they're actually in a voice channel. If they're not in a voice channel, then they need to go in that voice channel and then use the join command. So we're going to do if member is not none. So if the member is actually found, and this should be, you know, true mo uh, all the time, and member.voice is not none. So if the member is found as well as they're in a voice channel, because member.voice is going to be none, if we're not in the voice channel, if the member who invoked the command is on the voice channel. So we're going to go ahead and just store the variable member.voice.channel inside the VC variable. And then I'm going to go ahead and cr create a new player. So we're going to do self.bot.music.player manager create. So we're going to create a new player for this guild. Okay, and we're going to pass in the endpoint. So string c6 guild.region. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and check to see if the bot or if the player is not connected. So if not player is connected, then we're going to do player.store channel ctx channel .id. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and just do await self dot connect to. So then we're going to call this function that we had over here. Like I said, this was from the example that I showed you, but literally all it's supposed to do is just to connect to the voice channel. We're going to pass in the guild ID. And then we're going to pass in the uh, author's voice channel ID. So ctx the author, the voice the channel the ID. But I can actually just uh, do this because we already have the voice channel object up here. Okay, so now if I try to use it right now, it's not going to work because we're not in a voice channel. We're probably going to get an error. Okay, well, the command worked, but uh, so let's actually go inside here and we need to do join. Now the bot's going to join. Okay, so that's very, very simple. All right, so let's just go ahead and set up the play command. So we'll just do that and then we'll end the video and then maybe I'll pick it up back up. Hopefully this should get you guys in the right direction though. It's very easy to set up Lava Link with uh, Python. Very good documentation, very good examples at the, uh, that's part of a uh, Lava Link. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up the play command. So async dev play. We're gonna take in self CTX. We're gonna do asterisk and we're gonna name this parameter query. The asterisk allows us to actually get in our arguments and parse it however we want. Okay, if you want, go ahead and check out the Discord Pi documentation. But pretty much you can, uh, for all of your commands that you're using uh, 
with cogs, you can specify how many arguments that you want for each command. So for example, if I just did hello, this expects only one argument named hello for the parameter. But sometimes you may want to parse your own arguments. So in this case, we're going to do asterisk, just leave it alone. And we're going to do query. Query just to you know the, the name of the song that they want to actually search. Now what we're going to do from here is we're going to do a simple try accept exception as X or error. We're going to do print error just in case of an error actually happens. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the player. We're going to do self dot bot dot music dot player ma underscore manager dot get ctx skill dot id so we're going to get the player that we assume to be created okay and that is being created when we join the channel so you must use join before you use play and what we're going to do is we're just going to do a simple youtube search so this is actually pretty cool so we can go ahead and do query equals we're going to use f string youtube search colon and then query so this is going to basically give us the actual query for a YouTube search. Now with uh, Lava Link, you can actually search with, on a lot of different platforms like Bandcamp, SoundCloud, Twitch, Vimeo. We're just gonna leave this to YouTube for now. And we're gonna go ahead and get the results. So we're gonna do results equals await player dot node dot get tracks pass in the query so this is going to get us all of the results so if i do print results okay let's try this out before we even do anything else so let me just go over here let me move my terminal to the other screen and let's join the voice channel and let's do join let's do play uh let's do um ncs limitless and you're going to see in the console that we have a bunch of results from uh the uh, from the play command okay from the search so from here what we're going to do is i want to just get maybe the first 10 because it doesn't really make sense to get all like you know 30 you can maybe write like an embed paginator to go through each one, but we're not going to do that in this video. We're just trying to show a simple example. So I'm going to go ahead and do results. I'm going to reference the tracks property and I'm going to get everything from index zero up to 10. So this should give us only 10 tracks and I'm going to go ahead and create a new variable and assign it the value of zero. The reason why I'm doing this is because we're going to loop through every single track and we're going to basically create, we're going to build up a string that we can display to the user. Okay. It's if you've seen my uh, discord JS lava link video, this is the same thing that I'm doing with the play command. Cause the reason why I'm doing this is we're going to allow the user to select a song that they want to play. So we're going to go ahead and do for track in tracks i'm going to increment i by one and what we're going to do is we're going to say query results or query result equals query result plus we're going to do an f string so i with a parentheses so this is going to tell us the number of the tracks so we're going to do track and i have to use since we're using an f string so we're going to do info because we need to reference the info property on the track and we're going to reference title okay so that's going to give us the title of the track and then i'm going to also reference oh, i need to close this with a curly brace and then i'm also going to reference track info and then we're going to reference uri so that's going to get us the url we might want to display you don't have to and i'm going to use a new line character to skip to the next line all right so now i'm going to go ahead and create a new embed so i'm just going to go ahead and import uh from discord import embed okay and we're going to do embed equals embed and then embed dot description equals query result and if i go ahead and send this oh wait we're putting this inside the loop you have to Move this out over here. I'm going to go ahead and do await ctx.channel.send. So this is going to send the embed in the channel that we invoke the command in. So I'm going to go ahead and join. I'm in the channel already. The bot is waiting to restart. So we're going to have the bot join. Play NCS limitless. Now we should get in a bit. There we go. So we have one, two, three, four, all the way up to 10. And now we actually need to uh, allow the user to select which track that they want to play. All right. So now the last thing we have to do is just allow the user to actually select the song that they want to play. So we're going to go ahead and use the wait for method to literally wait for a message event to happen and we're going to need to create a check function to check to see if the user is the person the same person who invoked the command is going to be the same person who is selecting the song so i'm going to do is i'm going to say response equals await self dot bot dot wait for and we're going to wait for a message event and we're going to pass in a check function okay and we're going to declare that function up here it's going to take in the message as a parameter and we're just going to just check for now if author ID is equal to ctx author ID. So this is going to check to make sure that the user who invoked the play command is the same person that is selecting the song. And the wait for is going to uh, stop once the check is uh, once the check function is successful. So now over here, response is the message. So I'm going to go ahead and just do track equals tracks int. So I'm going to convert this into an integer. Just going to reference response.content minus one. Now that's going to uh, give us the correct track. The reason why we're subtracting one is because we're allowing the user to select a number from one to 10. Ideally, you don't want them to select from zero to nine. So we're going to make them select from one to 10. And we're just going to subtract one. So we don't get the off by one error. And now we're just going to go and do player add and we're going to do requester we're going to pass in the author's id so the author who invoked the play command the person that is loading up this track 
We're gonna pass a track equals track. And then last but not least, we're gonna check to see if the player is not playing. Okay, and if the player's not playing, we're just gonna do await player not play. All right, so let's go ahead and try this out. All right, so let's just have the bot join the voice channel. So let's do join, let's do play and CS Limitless. And we're gonna go ahead and select one. And now the bot should start playing the song. And you guys should be able to hear it because I have my volume unmuted. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to do a quick example on how to get started with Lava Link with Discord Pi so that you guys can have something to start with with making your music button. Like I said, the link for the code will be in the description. Uh, feel free to join my Discord server. The link will also be in the description as well. If you need help, you know, just join the server, ask. That's the best way to get help. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.